while the world today is so focused on finding cure for COVID-19, and people around the world are taking the necessary precautions in protecting themselves and the loved ones against the disease, let's look at one of the most leading causes of deaths worldwide, HIV AIDS. The crisis continues today. The influx of population could be one of the reasons for the increase of HIV cases in the city. But fear and ignorance is what defined the HIV epidemic worldwide, and its victim is getting younger and younger. In partnership with RHWC, Olympus Community Center, and City Government of Davao, the University of Mindanao Psychology students under Health Psychology conducted a documentary entitled The Unwanted Plague Within an Odyssey of the Ills and Misfits at HIV AIDS. Davao. I'm Jason Jamovicio. And I am Trixie Barros. And we are here in front of the City Hall of Davao. Yes, uh, we are here to discuss about the HIV AIDS cases here in Davao City. Right, partner? Because it is already a high time for us yes. to be well informed about this sad disease. And for further discussion, we have Gio Fulgar for the basic information about HIV AIDS. What is HIV and AIDS? HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, while AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, or stage 3 HIV. HIV is a virus that harms immune system by destroying the white blood cells that fight infections and diseases in our body. HIV doesn't always progress to AIDS. With regular intake of prescribed medicine given by a doctor, AIDS can be prevented. But if left untreated for 8 to 10 years, AIDS may occur. Common misconceptions about HIV and AIDS are HIV can be transmitted through body contact like touching, tears, sweat, saliva, pee, kissing, or shaking hands. Mosquito does spread HIV. I'm HIV positive. My life is over. It is not true. You can always seek treatment in hospitals near you. So what are the causes of HIV? By having sex, you may become infected if you have vaginal, anal, or oral sex with your infected partner, whose blood, semen, or vaginal secretions enter your body. You can also acquire HIV by sharing needles from blood transfusions during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Once again, I'm G. Recho Fulgar, and if you think you are sexy enough, get tested because it is cool to be safe. So now we know, partner, that HIV and AIDS are different from one another because HIV is the infection or the, the virus itself, while the AIDS is the condition of the patient. Yes, partner. And now, we will go to discuss about the cases and status of HIV AIDS here in Davao City. And for that, we will have Erna Pital Corin. The cases of HIV and AIDS in Davao City. Over 4,000 HIV AIDS cases listed in Davao City. Davao region ranks fifth in the country with the most number of cases of human immunodeficiency virus and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Davao City Reproductive Health and Wellness Center Head Jordana Ramitere said data from the Department of Health Epidemiology Bureau showed that in the first half of 2019, approximately 4,000 cases were recorded in Davao region. Of this number, 2,902 are from Davao City. She also said majority of those who acquired the virus are mostly male, while the vulnerable age of group are from 15 to 34 years old which is considered as the reproductive age group. Once again, this is Anna Petal Corin. If you think you are sexy enough, get tested because it is cool to be safe. Unfortunately, partner, the number of HIV cases here in Davao City is rapidly increasing, approximately 4,000 cases, and the most prevalent cases are in the males. Right, but the city government has already implemented activities and actions 
in battling the rapid growth of HIV AIDS here in the city. And for that, we have the Nat Horolan to deliver it for us. The city government of Davao conducted activities and action to fight against HIV. There are now more options than ever before to reduce the risk of acquiring or transmitting HIV and the newest methods are even more effective than those that were available earlier. These include personal actions that people can take to protect themselves, like abstinence, having only one partner with the same HIV status, and choosing less risky behaviors, as well as risk reduction tools, services, public health departments, community-based organizations, and others. Currently available tools that have been shown to significantly reduce the risk of HIV transmission or accusation include HIV testing to detect and diagnose infection. HIV medication to prevent transmission, treatment as prevention, prevention of mother-to-child transmission, pre-exposure prophylaxis, post-exposure prophylaxis, interventions to provide access to prevention tools, syringe services programs, condom distribution program, drugs treatment including medication-assisted therapy, ST diagnosis and treatment, medical male circumcision, on the other hand, here in Dabo City, the local government provides antiretroviral drugs to HIV patients. Dr. Ramitir, head of Dabo City Health Office Reductive Health and Wellness Center, said prevention remains important through counseling and other interventions to discourage vulnerable groups, especially young people from engaging in risky sexual behaviors. In the Dabo City, we also accept testing and treatment. In fact, community center has been established since last year to provide psychosocial counseling for HIV patients. Once again, this is Nanette Roland. If you think you are sexy enough, get tested because it is cool to be safe. Well, indeed, we are much thankful to the city government for implementing such activities like psychosocial treatment and free medications to the patients. Yes, partner, and in addition to this, we will have Raceable Desk for more information about the activities conducted by the city government of Davao. Good day, everyone. I am Racy Ben Vivaldes, and we are here right now at Olympus Community Center to conduct a brief interview about HIV AIDS and the cases here in Davao City. Hi, I'm Michael DeVosta, 22. And the very um, favorite line that I have is, if you're sexy enough, get tested because it's cool to be safe. I worked before in the OH as community um, HIV outreach worker and now um, as a volunteer of Olympus Society of Davao, I am a former um, human rights and human resource officer here in Olympus and also my job description in this center, as a, uh, in this clinic is I'm the HIV AIDS um, lecturer and preacher or screener, motivational um, preacher. So, antiretroviral therapy or um, tinatawag naming um, ARV, antiretroviral drugs, um, ito yung iniinom ng mga tao kapag mag-reactive sa HIV. So, for example, um, na-diagnose siya na HIV for a year ago, but ngayon lang siya nagpa-test. Once nag-reactive siya, ipapadala pa yan sa Manila for confirmation. And but that time na na-test siya, hindi pa siya mag-start ng treatment kasi um, we're doing a lot of tests before um, siya pa-take ng drugs na yung specific na gamot kasi baka yung gamot na magbigay sa kanya is hindi bagay para sa kanya. So for example, um, this person reactive on the screening, HIV screening, tapos um, general checkups, tapos um, once kung um, tinutukoy pa kasi namin or hinahanap pa namin kung may naapektuhan na ba sa HIV sa kanyang um, pangangatawan. So for example, uh, may ubo na siya, may diarrhea siya, i-cure muna yun, gamutin mo muna yun before mag-start ng treatment. Um, approach first, um, kailangan mo muna ipaintindi sa kliyente or sa tao kung ano yung result niya. 
kasi um, useless kung ganito lahat um, binigay mo lahat ng positive things na binigay mo na ito ang, ito ang dapat gawin, ito ang dapat gawin pero hindi niya um, kaya pang uh, tanggapin kung ano yung status niya o ang resulta. So about sa cure siguro um, paintindi mo na sa lahat ng tao or sa taong may HIV na kung willing sila mag-participate about sa cure kasi um, we conducted an interview before also um, many of the PLHIV or people living with HIV is um, not willing to be interviewed about HIV cure kasi parang sabi nila kung sa own term um, bahala na si Batman parang ganun So how long that the HIV um, reactive clients um, can wait for start the treatment? As long as kung nag-reactive siya ngayon, tapos okay na yung lahat ng test niya, as soon as possible, start siya agad ng meds. So, um, but... Ang meds is kapakanya? Yes, yung meds is yung ARV, yung antiretroviral drugs. As long as walang problema pa sa katawan niya, wala siyang mga napiktuhan sa HIV, then start the medication. Here in the city, the local data, if I'm not mistaken, last August 2019 and Davao alone is 3,917 na po ang may HIV. But as of August 2019 pa lang, so hindi kasali yung September, October, November. So but I've heard the news na dumapo na sa 4K which is 3,917, 4K na ngayon. So hindi yan posible. But Be, um, that is very possible to happen since the last data is um, August lang, so 3,917. So ano, ba, ano na ba mga ginagawa ng city? So I'm very thankful kasi Um, supportive masyado yung mayor natin. Uh, mas tilas yung in, uh, budget about sa um, HIV information, education, or everything. Um, ang city alone, may ginagawa silang testing sa lahat ng establishments for um, women and prostitution or people in the prostitution, women and men in prostitution. So, every month talaga, monitor dyan sila. Tapos, um, every companies like BPO, small, may nagkakandak din ng city ng um, HIV 101 or the information, education, and counseling, then the testing. So, as long as um, nasa Davao ka, um, the city trying their best to tap um, all the establishments um, work. Tapos, ang city rin sa ngayon, which is I'm referring to the LGU, uh, may... RHWC or Reproductive Health and Wellness Center which is nag-offer na rin sila ng sundown clinic which is every first Friday of the month 6pm to 10pm uh, may testing sila doon so hindi yung um, basic na government hours na Monday to Friday 9am to 3pm but yun is 6pm to 10pm or minsan nag exceed sila ng 12 midnight So since this is Olympus, um, our clinic will call this um, Olympus Community Center. Um, ito yung center namin. Um, kung walang ginagawa yung client, for example, nagka-test na siya last month, pwede siyang bumisita dito to Mumbai anytime as long as um, di, formal lang. Okay? So yun lang yung um, since community center, marami kami yung ginagawa sa taas. Mayro mga board games, mga ganun. Tapos um, open to. Monday to Sunday, 4pm to 10pm para yun sa mga students, sa mga nagtatrabaho na hindi na kayang abutan yung clinic sa government. Tsaka ang Olympus din, um, kami rin yung nangunguna sa community. For example, um, there is a specific LGBT organization sa malayo, hindi dito sa downtown, sa Turil, sa Kalinan. Kami rin yung mismo, may team rin ang Olympus na pupunta doon. para mag-conduct ng HIV testing anytime at anywhere. Yung, yun yung services ng Olympus. Tsaka, meron na rin kaming, um, kami rin ang organization dito sa Davao na nag-introduce ng PrEP. So PrEP, 
Um, nagsimula yan sa Manila since Olympus is empowered by Love Yourself. PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis. Ito yung gamot na ngayon na iniinom ng mga negative or non-reactive people para hindi mahawaan ng HIV. So, for now, hindi siya free. Pero kung gusto nyo malaman about sa PrEP, you can visit us anytime or you, I can discuss it since ang PrEP is meron kaming uh, exact flow. Pero hindi kami dito nagdi-dispense. Meron kaming partner na hospital kung saan makakakuha ng PrEP. Okay, para sa lahat na um, may HIV or sa mga taong walang HIV or hindi pa alam yung status nila. First, is, let's address about the people living with HIV. Kung kayo alam nyo na yung status nyo, please um, adhere your um, treatment. Uminom na lagi, araw-araw. Huwag mag-skip para um, dumating yung panahon. May, may tinatawag na kasi tayo ngayon na uh, once and detectable na siya sa test, for example, magpa-test siya ulit or magpa-viral load, once undetectable na siya, it means also untransmittable na rin siya. So, pwede kung may long time partner siya, pwede na si rin silang di na gumamit ng condom, hindi na mahawaan yung partner niya. So, very important talaga na mag-adhere sa meds or para sa mga taong alam nila na reactive sila pero di pa rin nag-start ng meds, please Um, if you love your family, your partner, um, love yourself also. Since um, ang pagtake, ang pagtake ng meds hindi rin para sa kanila kundi para sa sarili mo rin kung may pangarap ka pa, may gusto ka pa, or may gusto pang puntahan, take your meds. And for those people na non-reactive or nagpa-test na non-negative, um, please stay safe. Meron naman kami tinatawag na safe sex or safer sex. Um, just explore it on the Google, YouTube, or everywhere. Um, stay negative or stay non-reactive. And for those people who don't know their HIV status yet, um, please get tested. We have LGU, um, SPMC, free yun sa RHWC, free din, at saka dito, free din. Depende rin sa inyong free time kung kailan kayo magpapatest. conducted a brief interview about HIV AIDS at Reproductive Health and Wellness Center or RHWC. The center started out as a bold step to address the issue of human immunodeficiency virus, acquired immune deficiency syndrome or HIV AIDS. Davao City is now an evolving treatment hub for HIV AIDS in Mindanao. For years now, the city's Reproductive Health and Wellness Center has focused on encouraging people with high-risk sexual behaviors to come over and be tested. Their services also include lectures and trainings, STI, STD screening, and HIV counseling and testing. Well, indeed, if you think you are sexy enough, get tested, and it is cooler to be safe. Once again, this is Ray CBN Vivaldes, an HIV AIDS advocate. Thank you, Rexy Valdez, for that uh, brief interview about the activities conducted by the city government of Davao. In line with this, schools and universities have also conducted same actions in fighting the rapid growth of HIV-AIDS here in the city. With that, we have Carl Volchano and Jokal Atay to deliver it for us. The school and universities conducted activities to fight the HIV and AIDS. The education sector is a critical partner in the national multisectoral response in HIV and AIDS. It is through education that young people can be provided with knowledge and skills to enable to protect themselves and their peers from HIV infection. Schools and teachers have important roles to play in developing healthy citizens of the future. HIV-related stigma derives from the virus's association with illegal and taboo behaviors and with the irrational fear of people from the infection. However, this stigma can be reduced by continuing advocacy for social change in response to AIDS and HIV-related stigma and discrimination involving HIV-positive individuals. Also, empowerment of people living with or affected by HIV and AIDS. HIV is not an easy virus to defeat. Alarming numbers may go as high over and over years. Efforts to address problems must tackle structural issues, 
such as keeping girls in school and prevention of gender-based violence, listening young voices of women and including them in program design essential services, acceptable and effective. If we do not slow down HIV epidemic, it does not invest preventing new HIV infections, the number of carriers will reach more and more by 2022, according to the DOH. Everyone must signatures global movement to end age by 2030. Campaigns which include proper education, tasting and treatment rising up. Fast track actions through comprehensive sexuality education by World Health Organization will accelerate and intensify the HIV response in order for the end of AIDS to become a reality. Once again, I'm Carl. And I'm Jovel. If you, if you think, think you are sexy, sexy enough, get, get tested, tested because, because it's cool to be safe. With all of that, we've gathered a lot of information about HIV AIDS here in Davao City. Yes, partner, and we will end this program with a lot of information. We are hoping we've learned a lot from this program. Once again, I am Trixie Barras. And I'm Jason Janovicio. If you think you're sexy enough, get tested because, because it's, it's cool, cool to, to be, be safe. safe.